What's up guys, I'm Morty and a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now we are 1-4 and four going into week 6 against the New York Giants. If you don't think we can win this game, then you are not watching football. Dallas Cowboys barely beat them. Barely. And it was a shootout between the two teams. If the Giants are having a shootout with you, you're bad. I don't let them have a shootout. I think we'll have a blowout. Hot take. Hot take alert. We got new left guard starting. I said, I think I said Monday we need to get West Martin out of there. We got Sadiq Charles. We drafted him off of the tackle. He's going to be starting at left guard Sunday. So let's go. So we're going to be getting some big help there. I think he's going to be good. He was really good at LSU. One of the highest rated tackles coming into the draft. So let's hope we can get something really good out of him come Sunday versus the Giants. You know, the Giants don't have Saquon. And what did they use to beat us the last two times play up? Three times? Four times? Four times? Well, they would beat him one this time. Anyway, they used Saquon, and they don't have Saquon, so let's go. I'm really animated because this is the first game that I'm like, man, we can actually win this. Daniel Jones sucks. And we got Kyle Allen, who moved the ball well against the Rams until he, his shoulder got hurt. So he's going to be moving the ball against the Giants, I believe it. Who does that defense have? Logan Ryan, Jabril Peppers. I haven't heard their names called all season. I'm also going home today, so I'm hype. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, going to vote Monday for my early vote because I will be home for um, National Election Day. So, I'll take this time out to make sure if you're not registered to vote, make sure you're to vote. You, uh, I don't know the link, but every celebrity out there has a link. So, go vote, you know, whatever way you're voting, vote. I know who I'm voting for. Um, Straight across, so you know, go vote. It's very important that we all go and vote and we all speak our voice for this nation. I thought I need to plug that in there. Everybody else is saying it, so might as well say it. Might as well join everybody else in bandwagon. Anyway, so yeah, so they got Evan Ingram on the offense. It's okay, and they got Devontae Freeman. He started off really good, but the last past couple of years kind of slumped down. Uh, Sterling Shepard, sometimes he just like more actually good against us for no reason. Um, yeah, I think this is a very winnable game for us, but what are some keys for us? Secondary has to communicate. We can do a lot of turnovers on defense if we communicate correctly. Um, offensively, we got to get the receivers. I think, I think, I have, some, some, I have a good feeling Scott Turner's on the same page as what I'm about to say. I think the first play, or at least in the first couple plays, because you know, the first, the rule of thumb is the first 10 plays on offense, or pre pre call before the game and then you actually started like game planning. So I think this is just me. I think Kyle Allen's gonna go deep to McLaurin on one of the first four plays of the game. I say one of the first four plays of the game gonna be a deep shot to Terry. Not even like develop I say look around because you know we learn from Dwayne, you do not look at who you're throwing to from the get go. You check out and then just launch that son of a gun down there. And McCorn should come down with it. And if not, at least we're proving that hey, we don't we we're going to abuse your secondary and do everything we can to abuse it because y'all suck. You if you've seen the water boy, you know where I'm going with this. Um Yeah, it's gonna be I think we're gonna be thinking it's gonna be a fun entertaining game, I think. We should be flying around the ball. I think Chick Shung should have a field day. Against, I think it's Andrew Thomas. He'll be lined up against most of the time. I think him more than Nate Solder. Montez will probably get a little more action against Nate Solder. But either way, if they flip flop like in Kerrigan, I'd have a field day with him too because Nate Solder really hasn't been the same since he left New England. Will Hernandez, just eh. Um, Zeke learns, eh. So I think their line is, their line is decent. I'm not going to like say, it. man, their line sucks. Their line is decent, but I don't think we have much. Um, better defensive front that will rip them apart with John Allen, the Mom Payne. I'm about to say Matt Allen, but he's not there. Chase Young, Montez Sweat, and Washington football team all time sack leader, Ryan Kerrigan. And he's the backup. How terrifying is that for an offensive coordinator? And him, Ryan Kerrigan, and he's the backup. You know how many teams would kill to have Ryan Kerrigan as their starter? We have him as backup. I'm really hyper deceptive. I don't know why. I just got back from the gym. So I don't know. Maybe it's just my adrenaline. I don't know. But uh, 
you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good game Sunday. Then we're going to be good, and we're gonna go two and four going into the bye. I think it's about a week next week, and uh, then we're gonna be fine because we have a bunch of games ahead that we need to win with the Bengals, the Lions, the Cowboys, and the Giants again. So I think it's a whole little team that we can win. Um, hope Dwayne has feeling better, according to the reports. He's dealing with the gastrointestinal illness, so hope the best for that. You know, I think there's a lot going on behind the scenes with that, but I'm not going to go on that because I don't know anything. Nobody else knows anything. We're all like in a little loop of not knowing anything that's going on. So we take what we have and what we've been told. He had a gastrointestinal issue this week, and he's back in meetings today. It is. Okay. Cool. Hope the best for him. He has a lot. I think there's a lot of upside for him. I think he just needs more time. I think he needs a full off season before he really can go start. Um, yeah, it's gonna be, I think it's going to be a good game Sunday. Defense will fly around. Secondary's got to communicate. This is going to be the game where they really solidify their, where they're going to be. I think we need to play more road, more on the outside. Um, more more on the sooner to have more road to see through on the outside. I think Hank, he and Floor will break to the slot a little bit. Can't get some. Get more Cameron Curl in there, more than Troy Hackey. I think that would be good. Landon Collins has got to communicate better. Um, cannot be missing these tackles that he's missing. So it's just small things like this. And, um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good game. Boss. We got to think Cole Holcomb's going to be back this week. So let's go. Cole Holcomb, I think, is back. Um, see if we can get Stephen Think Stephen Sims. Let's see if Sims on IL. That's right. Um, see if Dontrell Edmund can make some more impactful plays, see if we can get something going with tight end because we haven't yet. So let's just see what happens with that. So we'll talk to you Monday on how the game goes. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. Make sure, like I said earlier, if you're not already, make sure to go register to vote. It's very important. Um, so yeah, so I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. I'm a Morris, and you just watch Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now I'm out. Peace.